tape number four, starting with C's, the word Calvary. Before I teach you the word for Calvary, let me teach you a sign for cross, the cross upon which Jesus died. You're going to use your C hand. In some places, you'll see a C hand more like that, but I'm teaching you to use your full open hand, a C, and then turn it sideways, put it up over your head, and make the pole that comes down that makes the cross, the, the main beam of the cross. Now come up, go over to your left side, and come across your right side in the location across that uh, vertical beam, make a horizontal beam. So when you do it all in one motion like this, you can see visually it looks like a cross, okay? With the C hand up, straight down, come back up and go across. That's cross. Now on Mount Calvary, there's three crosses. And so when you sign the word Calvary, I want you to do or make three crosses. But they're going to be like this. Put one, your left hand, over here on your left side. Now take your right finger, turn it sideways, and what does that look like? It looks like a cross, correct? Let me put it down just a little bit because this should actually be right about shoulder height on the left side. This is one cross. Now the second cross in the middle is up here, and it's going to be about eye level or the level of your forehead. And then come down here to your right side, about shoulder level again, and make the cross again. So you have one cross, two crosses, three crosses. And when you have three crosses like that, do it smoothly. One, two, three. Sometimes you don't even have to move your fingers as far as one off the other. Just one, two, three. Normally what I do is I take my right finger, I hit the back of the left index finger, that's one cross, then I come away, hit the second cross, and I come away and I hit the third cross. One cross, two cross, three cross means Calvary, because on that hill there were three crosses. Okay, the word chariot, it comes up in the Old Testament, it also comes up in the New Testament. Take your index fingers once again and put them down by your side, and then make the wheels of the chariot. A chariot is rolling along and if you want to be a little more visual, you could take your hands like this. You see the little shape as if you're grabbing the reins on a horse. And you can shake them like that and then do the wheels, shake the reins, do the wheels, shake the reins. And you give the idea to the deaf of a chariot that's running along with that horse in front of it. Okay? So then we have the word charismatic and the word Pentecostal. I'm going to teach you a sign for both of these because you will need them at some point. But uh, you may see different things. I, I, there's a lot of signs out there. And some of them are specific to certain countries. Some cross from one country to the other. And as I told you in the very first introductory uh, um, video, I try to gather some of the better ones and I adapt them, and I even use some of those from other countries right in my own country. I actually do. I bring them. I, the word for Calvary, that's not something most people here in America will do. But every time I use that sign, every deaf person has always understood what we were talking about. Uh, so, And they like it because it's, it's more visual. All right, so the word for charismatic that I'm going to teach you is going to start with this C hand again. I want you to put it up to your mouth, put your thumb on your mouth, and I want you to have your left hand up in the up in the air already. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go like this, shake your hand away from your mouth up into the air and then do the same thing with your other hand. Okay? So we're going to do them together. Charismatic. Okay? A C on the mouth. Charismatic. All right? Now, the sign for Pentecostal that I want to teach you when we're talking about a Pentecostal movement, this is not exactly the same as I would use for the day of Pentecost, but since we already did the word charismatic, I want to teach you. We're going to do this. This is a P in American Sign Language. It's, 
That same hand shape is used even in British Sign Language, although not officially, but in some of the signs they will use that. Um, you have your thumb on the knuckle of your middle finger that is straight down. Your index finger is straight up, okay? So I want you to take your middle finger now, put it on the side of your mouth, and go Pentecostal. Okay, start with the P on your mouth, Pentecostal. All right, so you have a C for charismatic, and you have a that hand shape right there, uh, an American Sign Language P, Pentecostal. All right, then the word for Christ. The word for Christ, again, you can use your C hand like this or your C hand like this. Put it on your top shoulder, your, your right hand, your right C hand, on your left shoulder, the thumb resting on your left shoulder briefly. And then you're going to come down across your body to the right side and then touch your right hip. So from your right shoulder to your right hip. That's the word for Christ. Okay? A lot of signs in American Sign Language tend to follow that. I, in fact, I'm going to teach you. You know the, the letter M. It's with a three on the hand. M. And I want you to take those three fingers, put them up here on your shoulder, and come across down here for Messiah. So that's going to be Messiah with an M hand on the shoulder down to your right hip. All right? Christian. Christian. In Australia, in uh, Britain, they'll, they'll take your left hand like this and kind of have it down, and they'll take the index finger on your right hand, and they'll go up like that, Christian, Christian, hey, Christian. Now, to be honest, I don't know why they do that. There, there has to be a reason. Someone came up with that at some time in the past. Um, another thing that I might suggest that I personally prefer, I'm going to go back to my Christ, Christ. You Remember the C hand? Do Christ. What I would do is I'd do Christ person, okay? Take these two fingers, and this is the word for person or a, a body, a man, a woman, a, one person in general. If you do it several times, it means people, okay? And you may remember that. But anyway, so you have people, you have person. If you do Christ, Christians would be Christ with like three or four people, or if it's just one Christian, you do Christ like that, just one time. That is a Christian, okay? If you're doing Catholic, take your left hand, I mean your right hand, your, your, your thumb up, your, when you're, like you're doing good, like wonderful, yay, a big smile. Take your thumbs up and take your thumb on your forehead and make a cross. Just make a cross on your forehead and that will mean Catholic, sometimes even the word Christian, that they will christen, uh, christening um, in the Catholic Church. And then there's the word circumcision, circumcision. Now take your thumbs up on your left hand this time. Okay, you're going to turn it just a little bit. Now take your right thumb on your thumbs up. And this finger right, or this thumb right here, represents a man's penis that is going to be circumcised. They're going to cut off the foreskin of the man's penis. So take your uh, right thumb and make a cut around the top of your thumb for circumcision. Circumcision. Now that sign, along with many other signs, is a good sign. I, I like the sign. I use that sign. But it may be that your deaf don't have a clue what that means. So remember, like I said in the introductory video, you can't just use a sign and expect them to understand it. You will have to take time and explain these signs to your deaf people. One last sign on this video, it's the word conscience. Conscience. Start with your finger, your, uh, your right, excuse me, your left index finger, on your head for mind, uh, where your head, your thinking is happening, but then take your middle finger on your right hand and come up the middle of your chest, 
Or you could do it on the left side, just a little bit over your heart, your conscience. So when you're pointing to your mind and bringing your middle finger on your right hand up over your heart, there is thinking and there is feeling. And when something happens, we do something wrong. Eee! Ah, we think, oh, that was wrong. We know that was wrong. But then we feel bad as well. And our guilty conscience is grieved. Ah. Okay, so that's the word conscience. God bless you.